It's a program aimed at improving Detroit neighborhoods and it's putting money right in the hands of people ready to put it into good use. Thanks everybody for joining us here at 530. I'm Karen Drew and I'm Pamela Osborne. This opportunity is really just so unique. It gives block clubs, neighborhood associations, faith groups and nonprofits the ability to create the change they want to see in their own neighborhoods and the possibilities here. They're endless. For 15 years, this Northwest Detroit neighborhood was missing a space like this. The land itself at the corner of Ferry Street sat vacant for decades, but not anymore. A much needed amenity to this community, and that includes an NBA sized basketball court with six hoops, a playground, and then a walk path. The entire project cost more than $400,000. A grant from the city's Neighborhood Beautification Fund helped take it to the next level. So the beautification grant was a big, big help to get us the beautiful artwork that you see here at the park. Um, we were able to contract Bisco Smith, a renowned artist from Lisbon, uh, to come in and bless us with his talents. We offer up to $15,000 worth of funding. Tamara Hardy oversees the grant program and says $500,000 are available this year for people to do anything from installing benches, funding trash cleanups to community gardens, and this. This is Daniel Washington's vision. It pays tribute to the past. You can see this pocket park bears the name of Curtis Jones, a neighborhood basketball legend, but it's also about the present and the future generations of children who get to utilize the space. Kids always ask me, hey, do you own this? And I say, no, we own this. It gives people a sense of uplifting. It gives them a sense of ownership. And we were really proud to do that. And we were able to do that just because of the beautification grant. And that's exactly what those grants are intended to do. We are hoping that happens through this is that individuals have an opportunity to come together again and be a part of the community and come together as a community. The Curtis Jones Park opened up last fall, and since then, people of all ages have had the opportunity to enjoy it. New applicants have until Friday to get those applications in. If you get stuck, there are people available to walk you through that process. You'll find everything you need to know on our website. Click on Detroit.com. Great.